at the Art Rage booth at Macworld and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Kim Kogan and I'm a San Francisco artist. And uh, Cody Miles, I'm an artist in San Francisco as well. And Patrick Matthews, also an artist in San Francisco. And uh, with these three gentlemen, we're going to take a look at how Art Rage works and uh, what it produces, right? Yeah. So yep. We're starting with you, uh, yeah, I guess. Or who are we starting with? Oh, I can show you. Yeah, cool. Uh, All right. Cool. I can show you Art Rage Four. Um, it's a great, you know, simple uh, painting, digital painting program. Um, you could, you know, paint over photos, or as we did in this one, we just did, did a demo using uh, a reference photo and uh, painted this cat. And uh, as you can see, it mimics uh, natural media very well. Um, uh, there's a lot of new features in this newest version of Art Rage 4, including uh, the references, uh, which you can import photos and have them on, uh, on your workspace. Um, also, scraps, which you can uh, test your art, uh, or test colors and test uh, media. Mm -hmm. um, and also, uh, the canvas view, which is uh, actually uh, pretty useful if you want to zoom in and work on the image, um, and then it uh, actually affects the, uh, your actual workspace drawing live. Mm -hmm. And uh, it works great with the Intuos, uh, and it also works great with Graphire or uh, other tablets. Yeah. It's a great little program. I just started using it Not two bad. years ago. Wow. And, uh, yeah, it's very simple, very easy to use. Yeah, Cody, what have you been doing with the, uh, on the iPad with Art Rage? Uh, well, so this is a painting I started. It's about, wow. like, 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes in. Wow. Um, and I'm, I'm approaching it the same way I would approach, like, a, a pastel drawing, where you lay down a base and you can kind of work back into what's already there. Mm -hmm. um, and the nice thing is, is, uh, like Pat, I've not used this program uh, more than a few days, but... It uh, because I have a traditional background and it mimics traditional media as well as it does. Um, I'm having a fun time with it. Not, I mean, I feel pretty comfortable with it. So the learning curve is really. That's well, let's hold that up a little bit more. Sure. Sure. So it's something else. And how about you, Tim? Okay. Yeah. Oh sure. Oh sure. Yeah. yeah. I actually uh, came. And this was like the second painting that I had done with the um, Art Rage. Oh, gorgeous. Wow, look at that. And unlike these guys, they didn't bring a photograph. I actually brought an apple and set it up and did this uh, huh. little still life. Wow. Um, of an apple. It's, uh, and I found it like very just uh, self-explanatory. Yeah. It's... Um, wow, look at that. So many of them. The toolbar shows up right here, uh -huh. and here's your colors. You can um, uh, adjust the width or the pressure and the uh, opacity and the transparency uh -huh. of the actual paint that you're using. And uh, yeah, so that's it. That's about like uh, two and a half hours, little fun little sketch. Oh, it was very impressive, yeah. Would you like to add anything, Ewe? Um Did you show the works that you are doing? Do you have it on oh. the website? Oh, yeah, we have our websites up. I mean, just to give you a background on where we're coming from, um, with me and Cody are, uh, have been working in the video game industry for the last few years. Um, while Kim is a fine artist, Yeah, I would say that we're all traditional artists who have uh, yeah experience with digital. Uh, Kim used to Kim used to work with digital as well. Um, but the one thing I was I was saying about Art Rage earlier today was that you know there's a lot of kids that are starting out and the only way they paint is digitally and uh, so they don't know how to paint traditionally. Um, and then there's also the people who only paint traditionally who don't do digital. And this is like a really nice common ground for both sides to come and uh, create stuff. Because the learning curve is, is accessible for, for both sides. If, if you're just totally into painting on the computer or if you're painting with yeah. oils or, or what have you. Nice. So here's a little of like what ordinarily 
I work on which are traditional mediums, oil paintings. Uh, but Can you make that bigger? Oh. Check it out.